Good morning, everybody. I have a small review. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow. I have a small review that um, I normally don't do, but I was in the mood to do it yesterday. I painted my nails, and when I got back from the food pantry, some of them came off. And this is LA Colors uh, Color Craze, and it's supposed to be in the color of mint. Word, uh, word to the wise, don't take your inhaler right before you paint your nails because I was like shaky. But anyways, I'm disappointed with LA Colors, uh, this color anyways, it's coming off. And I just painted them yesterday. So, alright, now to the best part. I went to the food pantry today, y'all, and this time the lady was a little generous. Um, she allowed me to get two personal items instead of one, and one of the personal items I got was Sally Hansen Insta Dry Nail Polish, and it doesn't have, oh, it says it's called City Slicker. Now. I have another bottle that exploded, but it's got, I've never seen this type of wand on it. And I'll have to try it out to let you know what happens with it. Then I got this Revlon Color Stay Moisture Stain. In India, India something, I can't read the last word, but 001 is the number, and I thought, and this wand is also weird, but I thought uh, it was a regular lipstick, but Revlon moisture stain now on to the food portion this month we ended up getting a gallon of water so that's cool gallon of water uh, Chippewa spring water everybody got a gallon of that and we'll start with the stuff that was on the counter. I got some coconut almond fluff here. And I love coconuts and I love almonds. Then I got some ground walnuts. I make my own bread pudding with the bread that I get from the food pantry. And I thought this might be uh, interesting. So I got some ground walnuts. Put that over here. And then I got some uh, half and half creamer. I like the liquid creamer, don't get me wrong. I know I've showed you the, the powdered creamer, but I do like the liquid creamer. And, they were handing them out like hotcakes, and so I made sure I grabbed some. And that's it of that bag. I always bring my own shopping bags. This time I just hauled everything out to the car and uh, boxed it up right there. Then this month we got some ready-made hamburgers. So that has to go in the freezer right away. And then we got a whole chicken. And usually if you don't get there in the beginning of the month, you end up digging in the bottom of the freezer for this stuff. But 
a whole chicken. And I got some frozen cherries. My brother gave me a bag uh, about a week ago and I used it and I made um, my own kind of pudding bread or bread pudding, pudding bread, bread pudding and it was pretty good. Put a little sugar in it, some cinnamon, good to go. So this is frozen cherry. And then I got, she wasn't sure what kind of roast this was, but it looks like a regular pork roast. Um, get the ice off because I cannot tell what it is. I don't know. So, big old pork roast. That, of course, has to go in the freezer. Then we got two bags of extra wide egg noodles. And I'm always using the egg noodles. Two bags of that. We got low fat 1% uh, vitamin A and D grade A real milk boxed milk and I do use this. It says, comes from cows not treated with RBST or RBGH. I really don't know what that means. I have no clue what that means. But, box milk, I've used it a couple of times. A different brand, but I've used it a couple of times. Then we got a box of brownie chocolate chip Cakes from Sarah Lee. Good stuff. Then we got a box of cheesy scalloped potatoes. Which I'll probably make tonight. So, cheesy scalloped potatoes with some ready-made burger kind of ripped up in it. It's pretty good. We got a box of shortbread Girl Scout cookies. The lady that I was going around with, uh, she was like pushing me real fast to get through the line. So we got a box of Toastios, some Cheerios here, and they also make good uh, crumble them up and put them in some uh, beef or something. It's pretty good. And what else did I get in this bag? Oh, I ended up picking up some small pearl tapioca. I thought about making my own tapioca pudding. And it seems to be pretty easy. Some salt, some sugar, some eggs, and vanilla, and milk. I like tapioca. It also goes good with my... Uh, bread that I make. Then I got a bag of apples. Good size bag of apples. They had the red apples, but I like the uh, yellow or the green apples. Hold on one second, please. Hey, hey, I'm back. I had to let the dog in before she threw a fit. Oh my goodness. Then we ended up getting this gigantic bucket of fruit salad. It says fresh cut fruit salad deluxe. Keep refrigerated. So I have no idea 
Okay, it, it says it has cantaloupe, honeydew, pineapple, oranges, grapes, water, sugar, and acid, citrus acid. So that ought to be interesting, but yeah. Gigantic container of fruit salad and just get a little bit of cool whip. Add it to it or some granola. When I bagged all this stuff up, I did it in a hurry, so you have to forgive me. Another bag. We got some spaghetti sauce. Some more cranberries. Oops. Cranberry sauce. A can of evaporated milk. And I made sure that it was shakeable because one can I picked up and it was kind of solid. So I wasn't about to do that. A can of tuna, light tuna. Another can of spaghetti sauce. The lady went around picking up stuff for my for me anyways, but sliced white potatoes with low sodium. Michigan made it says. Good stuff. I like the sliced potatoes. Uh, fat free cream mushroom soup. I use it on my chicken or whatnot. Another can of cranberry sauce. Sliced carrots, reduced sodium. It's always good. Applesauce, unsweetened. Uh, green bean, French styles, green beans like it. Black beans. You get to choose what can of beans and stuff you like. Another can of French style green beans. A can of mixed vegetables reduced sodium and it looks like this one has celery in it. And that was it of that bag brown eggs six brown eggs and then a big bag of they had tons of this and I think it's like the same kind that I just threw out a bag, um, it was like maybe four or five french fries left, but a big bag of restaurant style french fries and it feels like the crinkle, I, I don't know, I can't tell what's in there, but big bag of french fries. Then we got a big bag of dried cranberries, and I usually use them in my bread pudding and everything, so that's that. Then I got a thing of organic baby spinach. I love spinach with all other mixed vegetables. This time I got a bag of limes. Pretty good. Now, I did not see this when I was there. The bag popped open and there was one that was kind of rotten, but I can get that out. A whole bag of lemons. 
big old bag of lemons. Always cooking with lemons. A small head of cauliflower. Oops, upside down. Cauliflower. Steamed cauliflower is really good. I'm telling you. And a bag of celery. I love my celery with some peanut butter. I don't know why I'm trying to put it back inside the bag. I don't know. Goof it that way. Then we got a bag. I just lost something. A bag of ranch sunflower seeds. My husband will probably have some of those. He eats the shell and all. Oh, that's what I lost. Got some avocados. I got three of those. Love avocados with my salad. Then we were able to get four things of milk and I got two low fat vitamin A and D chocolate milks and 1% low fat milk. So I got two of those. And the personal, another personal item, bath and shower gel, land Paris gel Bane? I don't know. Because it all I can't understand the language that's on the back of it, but liquid soap or bath foam lightly perfumed. Then I we were able to pick in the freezer one thing that uh, we liked and I got Port wine, spreadable cheese. So I got that. I was able to get one big bag of chips and I got the cheese puffs. Big, huge bag. This is a 25 ounce, one pound bag of cheese puffs and we're always eating cheese puffs. One of our little favorites. These bags are getting heavier as time goes by. My goodness. Peanut butter. Let's get it in there. Peanut butter. Oh, it says it's one pound, 18 ounces. Then I saw this and I thought, what the hell? Dijon mustard with Chardonnay in it. It's good on your chicken. What not. Some spaghetti noodles. Which is upside down. Spaghetti noodles. Some liquid concentrated cranberry juice. One thing of apples and cinnamon oatmeal. I don't know how they can think that three people can split one thing of that. But vegetable oil. I desperately needed some oil. I ran out and haven't had it in a while. Apple juice. We're getting down to the nitty gritty here, folks. Almost done. Almost done. Now, I know I told you that I make my own croutons and I make my own uh, bread pudding. I experiment with bread pudding a lot. Uh, like I said uh, the other day, I made some bread pudding with... Uh, frozen cherries turned out pretty good and my croutons so I got me which broke in half another loaf of French 
bread with the seeds and the seasoning on it. But that's okay that it broke in half because I'm going to just put it in the freezer. So when I'm ready to use it, it'll be there for me. And then I got, we were only able to get one of these. So I got some Paniti Twin Loafs. of bread got that and the shopper that went around with me she's like here take take it's good so I'm like all right so it's that rye with the swirly in it I do like that kind though I do but I guess they had a whole great big shipment of it and they were trying real hard to get rid of it and I don't know folks I don't know why I got it but it was calling my name for some odd reason country French bread and I I, I don't know You know, it has the directions to bake it in the oven, allow it to cool, so I, I don't know. It smells real good. It really does. It smells real, real good. And then last but least, I got, well, this will be made up right away, some Italian bread that I didn't see it but it's starting to go moldy so I'm going to have to rip off all the mold and start cooking it up croutons in fact I just finished off a bag of croutons that I just made a couple days ago then I got some powdered sugar cream old fashioned donuts Like I said, they tell you not to get a whole bunch of junk food, but yet they give it to you. And last but not least, some Danish bear claws. And there's four, and it looks like it's chocolate in the middle. So, that, my friends, is it. I went through the whole food pantry. No pickles this time. Just a big old container of fruit salad, which I'm probably going to break into after I'm done with this video. So I hope you enjoyed the video. It wasn't as exciting as it normally is. To tell you the truth, I really don't know what I'm going to do with all this. But it was either that or whipping cream, and there went a loaf of my bread that or whipping cream and we're always barbecuing and stuff so why not you put a little bit on uh, your chicken smear it all over your chicken put a little flavoring to it and put it in the oven it's good it really is but that is all that I have for y'all today and I will try to get this video out as soon as possible. But now I have to put all this stuff away. So, have you all a great day. It is starting to heat up. It looks like it might rain today. And, yeah, just enjoy the day. Enjoy each other. Be good to one another. Love others like you would want them to love you or respect you anyways and I also wanted to say thank you to all of you who have supported me when I was ranting and raving about somebody making rude comments about the reason or about the fact that I'm fat and that I shouldn't go to food pantries well if y'all knew my life you would understand so but thank you. God bless you all. Peace out.